I mean, they're caught red-handed lying. I mean, they, they, they lied about saving the naked body scan images. They lied about them having radiation. I mean, they yeah, just well, lie, lie, lie. That's, I guess, just what they're trained to do is lie because you can't, you can't tell me everybody what you're going to do and have them just blindly accept it. Nobody's going to accept it if they say what they want to do, so they have to lie. You know, I, I've also seen media reports and talked to eyewitnesses over the years, uh, other talk show hosts, that it's particularly attractive women that they really go wild over. Uh, yeah, I, I actually spoke to my mother shortly after this whole incident happened because, you know, obviously I was just stuck in uh, Florida at this point, and so I was just calling mom to tell her what happened, and she said that, you know, she flies a lot, and She's not an unattractive woman, and she has very, very large breasts. And she said every time she goes through, she always gets picked. And even when she flies with my dad, which my dad is kind of a shadier-looking guy. My, my mom is not shady-looking in any way, shape, or form, but she's always the one picked. And it's just because, you know, we're women, and people get to touch us then. And nobody wants that. <laughs> I don't know anybody who feels safer as a result of that. I don't. Well, there's a, there, there's a thuggish type of mentality that enjoys forcing something uh, on a woman. And I'm sure you've seen the reports of them planting drugs on people and then demanding oh, yeah. sexual favors or how many TSA workers have been caught being pedophiles. I mean, this is the job to get if you're a control freak scumbag. Oh, yeah. And it's the type that is attracted to that job as well. I mean, nobody who values people or the human race in general would ever be attracted to a job like that. It's just the horrible people who have no moral judgment on their own and are willing to blindly follow orders, no matter how far they take it. And I kept asking them, what's your line in the sand? At what point do they give you an order that you say, no, that goes too far? And they just said, we're just following orders. You know, it's all for the greater good. And I think there's no good being gained here. I am just following orders for the homeland. I mean, <laughs> look at the nomenclature. The homeland, the troops, the face scanning cameras, you know, papers, please. It's not papers, please. It's shouting at people and groping them. I mean, this is insane. Yeah, I've never had so many grown men with guns screaming at me for no reason. It, it was so frightening and... Well, Meg, you know. that's what this is all about. It's about making us the terrorist and training us that we're bad and that we're going to be shouted at by our government protectors. And notice this is all happening right as the economy implodes, right as the global government's being announced, right as the police state's unfolding. It's all been timed perfectly, Meg. Yeah. What so. do you think of the backlash uh, to this? And I don't know if you're tracking it, but, I mean, the Internet, mainstream media is on fire with this, and the establishment media is trying to promote it like it's a good thing, but people aren't listening to them anymore. Yeah, and, uh, like, I've been really immersed in the whole TSA issues for a while. I mean, I did a video long ago with um, Sam Dawson of Obscure Truth, and, uh, you know, he was harassed throughout that entire thing just for having a video camera, and so it's... It, it's something that I followed closely, and it's very dear to my heart because I feel so bad for especially, like, crime uh, sex crime victims. I mean, I don't even know what they go through when they have to deal with that. I, it's something that my heart breaks for them. And to see, like, people putting their children through that, that's like watching somebody beat a child on the side of the road. I can't just keep my mouth shut about it. There's nothing more I can do other than speak up. Well, that's wonderful, Meg. I mean, this is human dehumanization, degradation. The airports are giant re-education centers where we are indoctrinated in the religion of tyranny and abuse. Yeah, and I can only hope that, you know, the people who had to walk around me during that entire hour at least saw what I was dealing with and what I was heard what I was saying because everything I said, I was obviously not a threat to them, and I, it was all just about you know, making me feel as stupid and, you know, as bad as possible, even though I hadn't done anything, and I wasn't going to accept that. Well, Meg... So I hope that the people who saw that took that with them. Absolutely. Look, when we resist, we educate others and they want to intimidate people and make it very uncomfortable. So you don't resist because imagine what's coming after this if we put up with this. Yeah, I, I can only imagine. And I really don't want it to get to that point. And I always tell them, like, I'm doing this not just for me and for the, my loved ones, but they're the face of whatever, you know, 
crap the government throws down on the people. And so the people, when they're pushed too far, they're going to snap and they're going to attack these people who are the face of the tyranny, not the actual tyranny itself. And so I'm trying to help them as well because they're on the losing side of a war. And I don't want anybody to get hurt in this. I just want them all to realize what they're doing and step away. They're on a losing side of a war. You can feel the momentum towards liberty in your gut, can't you? Yeah. I mean, I, I'm packed up and moved away from... I love my grandpa more than anything in the world, but I had to move to New Hampshire because, you know, it's a place where we're actually doing things to move it to that point. And we've had so many successes. And, you know, I... Even though it was heartbreaking to give up living with my grandfather, I had to do it. How bad was the police state in, in the previous state? In uh, uh, Oregon? Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Yes, in Oregon. Um, it, it wasn't horrible, but at the same time, like, it is a very liberal community, and so they like their police. And I, I was never really an activist there. It, it's a little bit more difficult when there aren't very many like-minded people around. And so you I understand. You wanted to get out of the zombie-like environment. Yeah, it's just everybody sort of it takes government as a given there. And, you know, it's just one of those necessary evils of life. And, and any evil doesn't have to be necessary. There's no such thing as a necessary evil. Meg, I want to talk about your ideas to get on the offensive and to remove these machines and the groping that's going on and the abusive behavior. But then we have to talk in that solution about dealing with the stage terror. And this is something that a lot of libertarians and people don't want to touch. Though Noam Chomsky, a liberal, he's now come out and said bin Laden had nothing to do with 9-11. Because if you... They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Is it really possible to get out of debt without payment plans or attorneys? 18 years ago, we developed a program that has made thousands debt-free in just 90 days. It's called Zero Debt in 90 Days, and it works for all credit card debt, medical bills, even collection lawsuits. When I first joined, I was being sued. So I used the program methods, and after filing one piece of paper, the collection lawsuit was dismissed. With Zero Debt in 90 Days, your success is guaranteed in writing. There is no other program of its kind. Don't be alone when creditors gang up on you. Let our team of experts provide the resources to fight back and stop creditors in only 90 days. Guaranteed. Prevent wage garnishments, bank levies, and stop collection calls with our proven program. Call Zero Debt in 90 Days now, 800-477-9256, and ask for free information from an expert who also completed our program. 800-477-9256 or ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com 800-477-9256 or ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com Fight back this cold and flu season with the world's best garlic extract, Ali C. Why Ali C? Because it helps your body fight viruses, bacteria, and fungi. Ali C has been scientifically proven in double-blind studies using low doses to greatly reduce the number, severity, and duration of common colds. Ali C contains 300 milligrams of stabilized allicin, the active ingredient in crushed garlic. Studies show Ali C is effective against MRSA, bacterial, fungal, and viral infections. One tablet of Ali C has the equivalent of 40 cloves of garlic. Ali C supports your body's resistance to all types of conditions and can help lower high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So boost your body's resistance to infection with nature's best garlic extract, Ali C. For more information and to order Ali C, call 877-888-7126 or go to garlichealthproducts.com. That's 1-877-888-7126. 7126 or go to garlichealthproducts.com for your Alley C today.
Up on screen, I have the Daily Mail. Dining with the enemy, Al-Qaeda leader linked to 911 hijackers was invited to the Pentagon. Lunch two months after the attacks. Here's Fox News. Failed Al-Qaeda plot involving showing bombs inside dogs. Now they want to ban dogs flying. Meg McLean, here's the issue. If we don't talk about Gulf of Tonkin and other staged terror attacks, or that Amwar al Awlaki's run all the major terror attacks and is admittedly government, they're going to continue to mail toner cartridges and blow stuff up and say that it's foreign shadowy men doing it. They have the trump card or the checkmate or the ace of spades, the royal flush, if we don't come out and talk about stage terror. Uh, I mean, what's your view on that? Um, well, my view is that I, I don't really care, you know, what's been done or what, you know, could happen. It's what you're doing today to people is inappropriate. And for me, it's just, you know, it doesn't matter the past or the future. It's today. Sure, and sure, but but, but Meg, it does matter if the TSA works for the group that staged the terror attacks. Well, obviously it does, but, um, you know, I can't convince anybody of anything other than what I am experiencing at that moment. And so, what are your ideas? You know, what are your ideas to counter this? Because I want to read Texas law here uh, in a moment. But what are some of your ideas uh, to respond to this? Obviously, expose it. But what else? Um, well, for me, like you know, different strokes for different folks. There's all different kinds of great activists and great actions that can be done. But for me personally, it's just saying no. You know, if enough people refuse, there's nothing they can do. I I don't know if you've heard of um, the 420 celebrations and my hometown now is in New Hampshire, but we just started gathering on the city square and open, openly smoking cannabis to, you know, fight the drug laws. Sure, so and it's the Gandhi uh, uh, nonviolent resistance. Uh, yeah, and there were some arrests, but now we've basically created a demilitarized zone where anybody is safe to go in there and smoke weed anytime they want. They won't be bothered. And, you know, that it's a great success story. Well, the it's government doesn't example. like marijuana because that's, that's the only drug they don't mainly ship in. Let me read to you yeah. from Texas, and it's the same in all 50 states. That's an important headline, TSA breaking state and federal laws. Right beneath Section 2111, indecency with a child, is Texas defines assault as follows, sexual assault of any person. Uh, commits an offense if a person intentionally or knowingly causes physical contact with another when the person knows or should reasonably believe that the other will regard the contact as offensive or uh, provocative. And then it goes on in other sections. If it's a sexual area, it's even more time in prison. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah. uh, that's uh, that's uh, pretty serious. I mean, they're breaking the law right there. Yeah, and they just excuse it in their heads with this, you know, code word terrorism. That's, that they gave me a 30-minute lecture while I was in that chair on terrorism. They said that, you know, 17 of the 19 9-11 hijackers came through that airport. And I was like, so you guys suck at your job, too? And, you know, that for me, the only thing I can do is just keep saying no and keep yeah. teaching people about these things. And well, Meg, I mean, there you go. No. Yeah, sure, but there, I mean, I've interviewed the former head of the embassy over visas. They were ordered to let them in, just like the underwear bomber was ordered to be helped on the flight, source Associated Press. This is not an accident, it's my point. I mean, they didn't yeah. screw up their job, they did their job, they were ordered to let them in. Yeah, it's just, they did a really bad job, because, you know, their job is that it's hurting people. That's all they do, is hurt people. They don't keep anybody safe and you know they're like well we're keeping you safe and i just said you know what at this point i would rather take my chances blowing up in the air well meg mclean we really appreciate you joining us we appreciate your courage uh your spirit of liberty is an example to us all we salute you and uh, uh we got about 10 seconds how did you get back home did you drive home from miami um i'm actually still in florida oh so this just happened yeah, this was about two days ago. Unbelievable. So. Folks, retransmission starts now. Infowars.com. I'm Alex Jones. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not re 